She's called Alex Red, but we know her as the queen of junior Eurovision. Hello. Hello, my darling. Now, everyone should know, French head of delegation, recently elected sort of the CEO, the president of the steering committee for junior Eurovision, you're a busy woman. A lot of busy. <laughs> really a lot of busy, but uh, you know, I love my job. Uh, I love Eurovision, Junior Eurovision, the big one also. I think it's a passion. Mm. I want to ask you, you have transformed the image of France at Eurovision. People now say, whoa, France can win. Almost every year we say this. What is your secret? What is your, the secret power? First of all, thank you so much. Really, thank you so much. I think that I don't know if I change something. I think that I want to talk a lot about the brands in France. I think that it's very important to have a strong communication around the, the Junior Eurovision and the Eurovision. I think it's very important, you know, to have a strong uh, contestant just to show that we have uh, French touch. The French touch is for me special to be, to put in the, in the Europe, you know, in Europe. And um, I don't know if we change a lot of things, but I think that we exist mm. on the stage. We exist on the international stage. And you don't just exist. You have won Junior Eurovision repeatedly in recent years. Honestly, what is it like for you to look back and see the success? Um, I think it's it's a dream because when I, I go, you know, to the, the the contests, I want to I want with my all my team, we want to win, and I think it's very it's a very strong uh, symbol for everybody to say, okay, just it's not just a competition. It's more than a competition. We want that the children dream a lot. So if we win, it's the dream realize. Mm. That's why it's very important in my personality that I, I, I give with my staff everything that I can do. When you speak like this, I can tell you're a mother. <laughs> I'm a mother of three little girls, and I know that it's very important when I, I, I am with my girls and I am with my children uh, Eurovision, like the same. It means that I'm a mother with them, and also I'm a manager. Yeah, very nice. And I want to ask you, when we think of France, maybe there are some stereotypes, but you seem to give us a contemporary France. Is this uh, something in your thinking? I love, what I love exactly is to be different. It's to propose something who is very different. Like, you know, I think we, we have a, a marketing world. Ah. And I think it's very interesting to say, okay, what is your vision exactly? What you want to show to the audience exactly? And, uh, you know, for example, for the different children I, I, I work with them, it's really like, uh, pop vibes. Ah. It means that it's a good vibes. I think that children is so strong to show that the world is something, you know, beautiful, something uh, big. And I, I, I want this energy on mm -hmm. the stage. I love that. And as the head of the Junior Eurovision Committee, what is your vision for the future of the contest? I think that we could do a lot of things. I share with all, you know, the steering group. Uh, I, I love the steering group because we have a lot of exchange, a lot of, you know, there is a lot of passionate personality. And I think it's very interesting to, to share about the future, about finally, you know, I think that the digital will be very strong for the junior because the children look the digital first of all. So we can do a lot of things. And I would like also that more countries come in the junior. Oh, fantastic. Why do you think some countries, particularly in Western Europe, have withdrawn in the recent past? I think perhaps the rules, perhaps uh, we can imagine a lot of things. It's, you know, it's a culture television, so perhaps they don't have the, um, the broadcast. 
you know, to, to, to have this kind of program. So I think there is a different, uh, different uh, topics, but um, I, I want really to talk with all the countries to understand really what's happened and come on in the contests. Yeah, y'all join that contest. <laughs> Alex Red is in charge. <laughs> now, internally in France, have you seen a shift from when you started Junior Eurovision until today? Do you think you have penetrated the culture? Yeah, I, 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 think, I think there is a lot of um, different, you know, topics that move in the Junior Eurovision uh, Song Contest. I think that more and more the junior uh, is bigger. And uh, now it's very interesting because, you know, the. The, the press in France, the media, mm -hmm. is more interested by the junior revision. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there were a lot of press who come in France and uh, want to exchange. And now we, we won three times. So it's uh, historic. Ah. And, um, and I think it's very important for us, you know, children in the music, children in France. So uh, yes, I think uh, now we have more and more a big brand Junior Eurovision. And Spain, of course, will host <coughs> Junior Eurovision next time because you've hosted so many times recently. Tell us about that decision and how you made that decision. I think that uh, we have a reflection about organize a, s a second time, a third time. Uh, but I think it's, I think uh, it, it, we, are, we have not uh, individual success. I think it's, a collective success. I love the idea that we share the culture. Mm. I love the idea that Spain uh, proposes us a new show, proposes us a new touch. And that's why we take this decision. And we have also Olympics in France, so it's a big, big event. So we concentrate also on the Olympics in France Television. And now I think it's very, very beautiful, you know, united by music. Mm. Uh, united by music, it's also for the Junior Eurovision Song Contest, for me. So to share the culture is the most beautiful symbol. Oh, thank you for saying that. Goodness, I'm getting chills from the Olympics to Junior Eurovision. Now we've got to talk about the adult Eurovision, which you've also given your kiss, you know, the Alex Red touch. <laughs> Always hype now, really. And Slimane, a massive star. People outside of France love Slimane. Could you tell us, was he on your radar for many years? Was this a big dream for you to get him? Yes, because you know Slimane is very famous in France. So it was a very big challenge to have a famous artist like Slimane in the competition. So. We talk a lot with Sliman uh, two, three years ago. And okay, when you are ready, Sliman, you tell me. And when he was ready, he <laughs> told me, Alex, it's okay. So yes, it's a dream for us. You had your WhatsApp on, you were <laughs> ready and waiting. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and this tour that he's been on, the, the feelings from the audience, very sincere, again, hype, support, love. You, as HOD, when he has success, do you feel the success? The, the, mobiliz the mobilization of, you know, French people is so important, you know, behind the artists because we know that the energy that we have in our country is so important to come in the stage and to go on the, in the stage of uh, Malmö. So it's very important, the success of Sliman. Now we want that, you know, he become a big artist in Europe. I, I, I pray for that. But we are very proud, you know, to now to have the, the, the challenge to come with Sliman on the stage of the in European, European stage. Fantastic. And we always know France television is ambitious with staging. And I know you can't give anything away, but can you give us a sense of the feeling? Can you give us a sense of maybe the ambition? <laughs> I tell you nothing. <laughs> I just tell you authentic and generosity. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, Sliman wants something, you know, very strong with the audience, you know, mm. a complicity. You want to talk to the audience. Mm. So I think the proposition is so unique. Oh my goodness. <laughs> if it's a good teasing 
Yes, you are a tease. We delight in it. Final question for you. Yes. You have achieved so much at Eurovision and Junior Eurovision, but looking at the adult contest into the future, what ambition do you have still? What do you want to achieve? I think I would like for all France Television, for all my team, for me, I want to win the big one. Just one time, I want to win the big one. Ooh, <laughs> we would love to see it. Oh my gosh, two weeks in Paris, Grenoble, Lyon, Lille, where will we go? <laughs> uh, everywhere, everywhere, I don't know, but I think that really we have, we have so, I, so much ideas, so much creation, so much inspirates, you know, mm. of a lot of French culture, but also all the culture yeah. that I would like to, you know, to really to organize the big one and share with uh, everybody what we could really uh, propose oh my to goodness. the rest of the world. Yes. <laughs> Whether it's in Dijon, auvers oise <laughs> wherever it is, we're there, honey. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. And thank you for what you, you do, you make, support. and uh, all your support. Oh. Really, you are just amazing. Bless thank you. Kind. Thank you to all the community. <laughs> and oh. uh, continue to be crazy. Oh, thank you so much. You are so kind. Vous êtes gentil, <laughs> honey. She is Alex Red, queen of Eurovision in France. Evolution, transformation. That is what you are, and we thank you for it. Oh, je t'aime bien.